a few tips on how to run comparable to come up with a fair market value for yourself. You are looking at bedroom and bathroom count. You are looking at a square footage of the living space. You are also looking out of the lot square footage and you are looking out for the condition of the property. If the property has a pool or not, two car garage, one car garage, when the property was built. Now, when it comes to remodeling and upgrades, if the remodel or upgrades was done within less than 12 months, highly, highly advise to get the invoices so when you meet an appraisal, you can actually hand those over so you can get value for those. When you are comparing homes, you are comparing the closed escrow within one mile. You can go as far as two miles if you do not have enough comparable. Now, it becomes a bit of a challenging when you are at the edge of the city. So what I mean by that is there is a lot of city are right next to each other. So try to stick to the same city. For example, Norwalk is real close to Downey so there is part of Norwalk. When you run comparable, Downey Homes will come up. Well, Downey Homes prices is a little different than the Norwalk prices. So you always want to stay into the same city so you can be able to come up with a fair market value. And it's not just the fair market value because your seller, you will face that when it comes to appraisal because whoever is going to be buying the home, if they are getting financing, then the lender they are using will be requiring an appraisal to be done on the property and you'll be able to use those comparable to come up with a fair market value. Food for thoughts when you're running comparable to come up with fair market value for your sellers.